Wow, this one turned out to be the best. Got it here, extractor, a Sinan TV item. This is pretty funny. You see how it works on the side? So I'll show you how it works in a second. You got it here, a suction cup over here, and just a little hole. And you just squish the egg out. So you pop one end and make a little hole right here. And pop the other end and make a little bit bigger hole. Also, I run it to the cold water, really, really cold water right after boil. So that way the eggs easy to peel. You see a small hole, big hole, put it right here. And then we're gonna extract it by placing this little, I don't know, push thing. Boom. The shell is over here, we pushed it really firmly and we extracted an egg. Deformed a little bit, but hey, maybe I rinse it off. Maybe I did it a little bit too hard. It hit the uh, floor and squished a little bit. Yeah, let's try this again. This is too much fun. Okay, this one, uh, easy to tell. This is the bottom. Take it off a little bit more on this side. Take it off, off a little bit less on that side from the top end. That's all we have to do. Put it into the hole, just like that. Grab the push. This time we pushed it a little bit less and look at that. Extracted the egg really good. Again, the biggest trick for this thing to work, after boiling your eggs, put it under cold uh, water with ice for a few minutes. And then they're easy to peel. And this gadget will work really well. Again, bigger hole, smaller hole, if you need to make devil eggs, might be a good idea. Wow, look at that. I love it. You know what, let's do one more time, not pushing it so hard. Also, I'm gonna give you a different view, so you see it from the bottom, you see? That's easy to peel, the bottom and the top. Little hole, big hole. Put it into this hole. Oh look, there's a piercer. I think you just pierce it on one side. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. You know what, maybe all we have to do is top, top and place. Let's see, let's start. Like I promise you, different little view. You see the egg sticking out over here? Okay. Whoa, that was an awesome view. And there's an egg. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's try it their way. Last, you see there's a hole. Make a hole over here, I guess. Tap, tap, tap. And then tap, tap, tap on a, over here on the top. That's it. This time we're gonna do way less. Um, let's see if it'll work. Wow, it worked anyway. Kind of. So yeah, that way works too. That's amazing. You know what, I have one more egg, let's see. Break it out here, few times. Break it from the bottom. Make it all crunch it up, I guess. Place it. Let's do a different view for this one. Oh, that's perfect, that's just so good. Let's see. Put the egg doctor on. Wow, this one turned out to be the best. And obviously, just wash it off a little bit, you're done. Look at that, it just blows it out, the bottom. That's amazing. Again, the biggest trick is putting your eggs after boiling in the icy cold water for a few minutes and be patient. Once your egg is easy to peel, this gadget will work super easy. Wow, that is satisfying how it all flies out. I got it here, pretty cool potato cutter. Let's see what this thing is about. Definitely next level. Stir fry cutter, I guess. So you got it here one blade, or you can even cut it into two regular fries. So it has a really nice uh, square suction cup. Um, obviously, it will work on a flat surfaces really well. Nice, that's good. Is it turnable? Not very. Um, so let's try this again. Push it in. Lock it, okay? Unlock it, just pull on this, and it will release. Let's set this way, so you guys can see what's going on. Just 
Just push it in and twist it. Okay, there goes medium sized potato. As you can see, it's big as my hand. Hey, what happened? I thought it was supposed to suction it. There you go, now I did it. Okay, open that and just a regular fries. Wow, it works really well, sharp. Not so much on a suction cup. I wish it was a little bit better. Smaller potato, let's see. Wow, very nice, very fast. So this is just regular skinny fries, that's it. Let's see how this attachment works. Now it still opens. We got lock it in forward, there you go. Okay, one more time, smaller potato. Oh yeah. And look at that, you have sliced potato super fast. So open that, lift this, get a smaller potatoes for this. Wow, that's fast, check this out. You wanna do just the potatoes, take this out, like potato fries, uh, put medium sized potato in. Beautiful, almost the on feet, but it's slicing it and dicing it super fast. Uh, especially with the longer potatoes, it works the best. Pretty awesome. Okay, this attachment back on. Let's see. Make sure this is lifted position. That is fast. Let's zoom in on it a couple more times. This is just too much fun. Potato goes in here. Wow, that is satisfying how it's all flies out. Okay, the close up now. Put the potato in here. Then dice it. Then another close up. Slice it into little pieces. That is fun. Got it here, new tortilla gadget made out of the wood. So just lift it up, slide the tortilla in, so that way it will hold it really good. And just find the middle and fold it like this. Then we're gonna toast it, just slide it in a toaster like that. There you go, it locked in, finally. So it looks like we will be one at a time because that toaster is just not long enough for two. Okay, whenever you feel like it's good, we gotta stop it. Wow, check this out, smoking a little bit. Let's pull this out. Ooh, hot. You know what, at first I put it on bagel. Let's try to put it straight on toast. Looks like at the end of it there got a little bit more cooked. But yeah, it depends on the toaster. Let's try to do another one, but this time we're gonna put it on toast. And I'm gonna try to put it in the middle of the toaster this time. Start it, let's go. Okay, this time I just put it on toast. See what happens. Not bad. Ooh, toasted in the back, pretty soft in the middle. Very interesting. This one cooled off a bit, and you could hear the crunch for sure on the outside. So this kind of in the middle, crunchy and at the same time soft. Super unique. And now you have hard shell taco. That's quite an interesting idea. I like it a lot. Load it up easily and it will hold it. Look at that. Pretty interesting. And also it's not so um, brittle. Very cool. Next time you're eating snacks, and you don't want to mess up your hands, especially if you eat Cheetos and things like that. You know it gets all over your hands. Um, or if you have dirty hands. Get yourself one of these little mini gloves things. So let's see what's about. Comes in one of these holders and the idea of this, uh, just um, put it in a, put it on your finger right here and onto the big one, thumb. My finger is a bit too big, but we can make it fit. Boom, 
and just like that it's on your fingers next time you go up in your food you see you are only touching it with the plastic that's quite unique don't you guys think check this out boom and your hands does not get dirty you know what it's stitched out pretty good now it's kind of fits perfectly eat it no problem mess free for your fingers and also that way you're not touching your food with the dirty fingers either quite unique for sure and whenever you want to take it off one time use oh this one kind of got stuck there you go that's definitely one of a kind gadget for sure got it here two mini bag sealers new ones what you do is grab it to slice it open boom super easy so it has to be kind of like aluminum foil -y. And you want to seal it, this is just an example, you just grab it and seal it. And same thing, just finish it on the other side, just in the bigger bags as well. So now it's sealed. You see there's air in there popping up. So that's pretty cool. You heard it popped again because you sealed it. If you want to reopen it, just grab your shop side and just reopen it again so i think works best with this kind of aluminum uh layer packaging okay let's see let's open it all the way yeah cuts it too pretty good this one a little bit thicker let's see if it will work mm. my assumption you probably have to close it this way start with this little flap it will work probably best okay it's sealing it okay let's finish off a little bit and then flip it over i will do it one more time on this side depends of the plastic you gotta go slower or faster Okay, now let's see oh yeah now it's sealed you see it's puffing up the air does not come in and I'll go pop it because powder will go everywhere if you need to open it again boom and keep on going 